Technology and Livelihood Education. Industrial Arts for Grade 7. Quarter 4 Week 2 Part 2. Our topic is Codes and Standards in Industrial Arts Services. The Philippine Electrical Code. Residential Wiring. The content standard for this lesson is The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts in industrial arts services. The performance standard is The learners perform mensuration and calculations following safety precautions. Here are the learning competency and learning objectives for this lesson. Review of the previous lesson. Considering the importance of permits, inspections, and supervision in ensuring the safety and compliance of construction projects. How might the absence of a licensed civil engineer for inspection and supervision impact the structural integrity and legal compliance of a building? Provide examples and justify your answer using relevant provisions from the building permit regulations. Without a licensed civil engineer for inspection and supervision, a building project may not follow safety codes or approved plans, leading to structural issues like weak foundations or unsafe designs. For example, improper materials or construction methods could cause instability. According to Section 308 of the Building Permit Regulations, the civil engineer ensures the project complies with legal standards. Without this supervision, the building may fail to meet safety requirements, resulting in legal violations, penalties, or delays in project completion. The Philippine Electrical Code What do you think the reason why this fire happened? What do you think will happen if you do this with the electrical wiring? <music> who among you has relatives who are electricians, electrical engineers, firefighters, or other city building officials? If given the opportunity, would you also like to be like them? Why or why not? Here are the answers from the grade 7 students we interviewed. Student 1, yes, my uncle is an electrician. If I had the chance, I would like to be an electrician too because I think it's cool to fix things that use electricity. Student 2, my aunt is a firefighter. I think I would like to be a firefighter because I want to help people and save lives. Student 3, I don't have any relatives who are electricians or engineers, but if I could, I would like to be an electrical engineer because I like working with technology and solving problems. Student 4, my dad is a city building official. I would love to do that too because I think it's important to make sure buildings are safe for everyone. Student 5. No, none of my relatives are in those jobs. But if I had the chance, I wouldn't want to be a firefighter because it seems really hard and dangerous. Student 6. Yes, my brother is an electrical engineer. I think being an electrical engineer would be fun because I could learn how things work and make them better. Student 7. I have a cousin who is a firefighter. I think I would like to be a firefighter because it sounds exciting and I could help people in need. Student 8. I don't have relatives in those jobs, but I wouldn't want to be an electrician because I think it would be too dangerous to work with wires all the time. The Philippine Electrical Code or PEC is a set of standards and regulations that govern the safe and proper installation, operation, and maintenance of electrical systems in the Philippines. It provides guidelines for electrical design, wiring, equipment selection, grounding, protection, and other related aspects to ensure electrical safety and efficiency. Objectives A safe use of electricity to establish basic materials quality and electrical work standards for the safe use of electricity for light, heat, power, communications, signaling and for other purposes. b. Adequacy Strict compliance with the provisions of this code will ensure safety in electrical installation and construction, but not necessarily efficient, convenient, or adequate for good service or future expansion of electrical use. 
The use of PEC is mandated by RA7920, formerly RA184, also known as the New Electrical Engineering Law. Likewise, referral codes are also used which are mandated by their corresponding laws. PD 1096 National Building Code PD 1185 Fire Code of the Philippines Structural Code RA 7920 is an act providing for a more responsive and comprehensive regulation for the practice, licensing and registration of electrical engineers and electricians. The Government Authorities Who Implement PEC 1. Office of the Building Official 2. Office of the City Electrician, City Electrical Supervising Engineer 3. Office of the Municipal Electrician, Municipal Electrical Supervising Engineer 4. Regional Office of the Dole the local building officials are responsible in enforcing the provisions of the Philippine Electrical Code as indicated in RA 7920, Section 39, and PD 1096, Sections 205 and 1301. The role of the Bureau of Fire Protection, BFP, as per provisions of the Republic Act No. 9514, 3, Fire Code regarding electrical systems is to enforce the provisions of the Fire Code, particularly Section 7. A.1 to ensure that there are no violations as per Section 8.B. It has no legal authority on the design of electrical system. Permits and Inspection Certificates A permit is required before undertaking any electrical installation. An inspection is also required after which Certificate of Final Electrical Inspection, CFEI, is issued by the authority. Exceptions A permit is not required for the installation of electrical portable equipment rated not more than 1,200 volt ampere. Reconnection of disconnected service due to non-payment of electric bill or change of occupants for a period of one year. Requirements for electrical permit A. An application form, DPWH form number 77-001E, shall be accomplished, signed, and submitted by a duly registered professional electrical engineer. However, if the installation does not exceed 20 lighting and or receptacle outlets or 4,000 volt amperes, 230 volts, the application may be prepared, signed, and submitted by a duly registered electrical engineer or master electrician. b. The application shall include additionally the name and signature and seal of the electrical practitioner who will take charge of the installations as well as the signature of the owner or his authorized representative. c. Five sets of plans and specifications bearing the signature and seal of the responsible professional electrical engineer shall be submitted together with the application. However, if the installation does not exceed 20 lighting and or receptacle outlets or 4,000 volt ampere, 230 volts. Five sets of sketches and bill of materials may be prepared signed and submitted by the responsible registered electrical engineer or master electrician. According to PD 1096, no plans is required for building made of indigenous materials or which cost is not more than P15000.00. The PD1185 or the Fire Code of the Philippines. Check the book below for the complete reference of the Philippine Electrical Code. What are the legal bases of the Philippine Electrical Code? 1. RA 7920 New Electrical Engineering Law 2. PD 1096 National Building Code 3. PD 1185 Fire Code of the Philippines 4. RA 7920 Structural Code of the Philippines who are the government agencies implementing PEC? 1. Office of the Building Official 2. Office of the City Electrician, City Electrical Supervising Engineer 3. Office of the Municipal Electrician, Municipal Electrical Supervising Engineer 4. Regional Office of the Dole E. Bureau of Fire Protection to enforce the provisions in the Fire Code. 
How is our lesson today connected to the previous lesson? One key component to getting a building permit is to have electrical requirements checked. This is to avoid future disasters like fire and explosions in buildings. A time to remember. This is Teacher Mylene. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.